This is Marianne Martindale from the Alliance for a Better Utah, and welcome to the Better Utah Beat. Voters in Utah should be concerned about the tone of some recent political attacks coming out of Utah. It's a sad fact that negative ads are likely effective at winning elections, but they aren't good at building democracies. For most Utahns, the trouble with negative campaigning is that it comes down to an issue of honesty and character. As Utahns, we're looking for elective representatives that we can trust. And that means demanding changes in the way our elected leaders represent themselves and their opponents. There is a line that needs to be clearly drawn in the sand that negative ads need to be rooted in fact. This is especially true in local elections, where we are called upon to elect our neighbors. There's a big difference between highlighting some of the negative choices your opponent has made and outright deception of the public at large. For example, a recent mailer sent out against Representative Carol Spackman Moss in Murray showed a graphic from the Salt Lake Tribune which showed Representative Moss being the highest paid legislator in Utah. The problem with this ad, as was pointed out by the Salt Lake Tribune itself, is that the Tribune's graphic shown in the ad has been grossly manipulated and wasn't in any way reflective of the truth. The original graphic, which ran back in June of this year, was presented by the newspaper as a snapshot of the Murray Holiday Midvale area, where Representative Moss is indeed the highest paid legislator. Let me emphasize that again. She's the highest paid legislator in that area, not in the state. Statewide, Representative Moss isn't even close to being the highest paid. She ranks 12th in just the state house. The Utah Republican Party was forced to apologize for the misrepresentation after the Salt Lake Tribune criticized them for doctoring their graphic, and they admitted that what they had presented to voters was not actually true. There are a lot of close elections coming up this November, from Matheson versus Love for Congress, to McAdams versus Crockett for Salt Lake County Mayor, down to Representative Moss versus Lampropolis. Negative ads are just going to happen. But Better Utah believes that campaigns should be about building trust, not eroding democracy through negative campaigning. All voters of Utah should think critically about what is being presented to you as so-called facts. We should remember that the people being attacked are our neighbors. Most issues can't be boiled down to a single postcard or 30-second radio or TV ad. Issues have a history and need to be understood completely and in context. Most campaigns aren't willing to help us fully understand the issues, so it becomes our responsibility to seek out the truth and support those candidates that are honest and trustworthy. Talk to your candidates, question them, and get to know their true feelings about every issue you care about. There's a big difference between a presidential race and our local state races, and not everything can be dictated by whether a person has an R or a D after their name. Above all, think critically and vote cautiously. Until next week, this is Marianne Martindale from the Alliance for a Better Utah with this week's edition of The Better Utah Beat. Have a great week, and remember that together we can make a better Utah.